Uh, Dr. Rodney Graham now is going to uh, talk about the management of joint hypermobility syndrome. Uh, as I've intimated in my first talk, uh, there's a general sort of dismissiveness of hypermobility as a clinical entity, and certainly as of a significant one. Uh, and people, patients get a rough time, hard, have a hard time uh, convincing their doctors, their rheumatologists, to take it seriously. Um, and there are mu multiple reasons for this, which I hope to touch on. But some of the things that, uh, some of the reactions that people come across, and as I said, it's, it's a world of wide, wide problem, this. Uh, well, it's only hypermobility. There's nothing you can do for it. That's the way you are. You've got normal blood tests. Your, your markers are negative. Therefore, you don't have a rheumatological problem. And as I said before, pain is in your head. People don't take it seriously. They don't believe the patients. The patients actually uh, are not believed. Uh, and they're not listened to. Well, that is one of the fundamental things of, of medicine. You, you have to listen to your patients. Um, and if you, you, do, you don't listen to your patients, it, it's your peril. They often think, as well, it's not for the doctors to deal with hypermobility. It's a mechanical problem. Um, we'll hand it to a physiotherapist. Um, <clears throat> fortunately, many of the physiotherapists are better informed about hypermobility and its implications. And um, this has been very helpful. And in fact, there's no need to make a diagnosis of hypermobility, it's just hypermobility. <coughs> and therefore, you don't, if you don't have a diagnosis, you don't need to have a man management plan. So one of the, let's think of a few key messages I would like to um, pass across. One is that hypermobility is not a diagnosis. Hypermobility syndrome is a diagnosis, Ehlers-Danlos syndrome is a hypermobility. As a, as a diagnosis, Marfan syndrome is a, as a diagnosis. But hypermobility is just the fact that you've got loose joints, double jointedness, uh, and it doesn't um, have any particular pathological connotations on its own. Because a lot of people are hypermobile and they don't have problems. Um, and we don't really need to um, impart symptoms where they don't exist. Um, but nevertheless, hypermobility is something that people pick up. Um, rheumatologists um, <coughs> are not uh, universally uh, trained to um, look for hypermobility. I think that's improving. I think that's changing. But when they encounter it, they actually don't know how to handle it, what, what to make of it where to go from there. But I would submit that a precise diagnosis is, is essential in any walk of medicine, any area of medicine, because it is part of your clinical assessment. And if you have a diagnosis, you can then talk about prognosis, and you can advise your patient about how to, how to um, comport themselves and what to do about it. So, as we go through, you'll uh, come to realize that uh, uh, rehabilitation for the musculoskeletal problems is very important. Um, how to um, put the locomotor system in the best possible frame for activity, physical activity, for living, daily life. Um, mm -hmm. But there are, there are barriers to progress here, one of which, of course, is the pain that I've already uh, referred to, and, and pain management uh, comes pretty well at the top of um, the approach to, to management of the condition. Um, obviously, medication, surgery, and uh, pain management using uh, psychological approaches uh, all have their place, but uh, some definitely more than or less than others. <coughs> Uh, physiotherapy, occupational therapy, and podiatry are all very important as 